The Volkswagen Golf GTI Ever Classy has for decades been the sort of go-to hot hatchback for people who want a daily driver at the same time. But not all Golfs are equal. Some are more extreme than others and none more so than those wearing a club sport badge like this one. But where in the scheme of mega hatches to daily drivers does this latest Golf GTI Club Sport sit? So welcome then to the inside of the Golf GTI Club Sport. And if you think Volkswagen does subtle on the outside, well, they have started to do subtle on the inside too. And if I'm honest, a little bit too subtle. Volkswagen used to be the paragons of ergonomic refinement and excellence. Everything big, chunky, clear, you could see it, you could see what it does. So while you used to have buttons for and dials for the temperature gauge and things like that, that's now on this little panel here. And the trouble with this little panel here is it doesn't light up at night, so you can't actually see if you want to increase the temperature at night. And loads of other things are on the touchscreen. And if you want to secure your hand, rest your hand somewhere on the touchscreen, well, you'll end up probably touching the volume or the temperature control, which is no use to anyone. All right, so you think, well, no problem. I shall rest my hand above it and use my thumb. But now my hand is blocking my view of the screen. And I'm sorry to labour this point slightly, but it does need saying, this is not good enough. This is just not, it's just not right. Um, Part of the argument is, well, it allows Volkswagen to do over-air updates of software and things like that if all these things are buried in a screen. But you're not ever going to update over the air the temperature control or the, the climate control or, say, a volume control, are you? So let's just have a few buttons back because what am I missing out on? What do I get in return for this space saved? Well, I get this little tray here, which is for what? A, maybe you fit a fan or some chopsticks in it. It's just get it right because this stuff means I have to take my eye off the road for longer which means it is not as safe as having a button. This stuff really winds me up and this is a Volkswagen Golf. This should be the best car in the world at this sort of thing. Anyway, slight rant over. What is the GTI Club Sport like to drive? I rather like it actually. It's pitched more hardcore than the regular Golf. They've given the, the regular Golf GTI a, sense of, a certain sense of agility. Uh, by having quick steering and rapid responses, but it doesn't excite in quite the same way that something like a Honda Civic Type R does, or maybe the Megane Renault Sport. This pushes on more towards those without going as far as those. It's still a daily driver. Now, for about 750, 780 quid, something like that, you get adaptive dampers, which this car has. So if you push a mode button down there, I then get a choice of Eco Comfort Sport Special which puts it in a particular Nürburgring spec or individual uh, spec. Now, if you go into individual, you get to choose how soft or hard you would like your adaptive dampers. And there are, let's count down, one, two, three, four, and that's where comfort is, would be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 different stages of adaptive. So in my individual, I've just gone full soft, because why not? I don't know where the Nürburgring setting is in among all of those, but you can also change the drive, the steering, the engine sound, things like that. Quite, quite cool, but maybe one or two too many things. It don't need quite so many things as that. But there is a, a degree of adjustability, but regardless of what you do, you get a car that is good fun to drive without being over the top to drive. But anyway, on the road in the UK, I can tell you that this little Nürburgring setting works quite well. Gives you decent body control while maintaining a ride over bumps and lumps which is not harsh or anything like it. You could quite happily drive all day in that Nürburgring setting on bad roads and it would be comfortable and one thing that Volkswagen still does right, it's got great seats, it's got a really terrific driving position. But it might if it went ever so slightly lower but this wheel comes out a long way towards me. There's two turns between locks it's got a heated steering wheel, quite like a heated three steering wheel. Three stage, I'm not sure it needs three stages of heat, but there you go. It's a great car for being a daily driver with a sporting edge. And there is a sporting edge to it. It turns quickly, it responds well to the steering. It's not loads of feel, but you do get a little tug as you come back on the throttle. It's got this electro-mechanical, basically an e-diff, and it does hook up slightly as you get back on the power, so you can just feel 
power start to go up again. It's not as precise, it's not quite as engaging as a Honda Civic Type R, but it's much closer to it than a regular Golf. It's kind of front ending. I haven't had it on track, so I don't really know what it's like if you sort of back it into a corner on the brakes or anything. It's quite sort of led by the front end on the road in rubbish conditions like this. You know, this, these, these are the front wheels that do not want to put all 300 horsepower down at the same time, but that's to be expected in the wet in a car like this. It's good fun, it's engaging. There's a decent range, it's got like 350 mile range out of a tank of fuel, which is great. Some minor ergonomic niggles aside, it's a really nice car to drive every day while giving you something back when you want it. And I have a lot of time for that. I don't, I don't mind that at all. I don't mind the fact that it is not as hardcore as a Megane Renault Sport. It's not as hardcore as a Honda Civic Type R. It's not as flat out nutty as a Toyota GR Yaris. So there are a lot of cars within the golf club sports sphere, everything from really hardcore hot hatches to, well, at this sort of money, you get sort of vaguely, slightly sporting, but quite comfortable quick cars in a straight line. Which one you'd go for? There is no, there is no straightforward answer. We always ask in a first drive, should I buy one? There's very rarely a straightforward answer. If you need the space, you want the seats, you want something you can drive every day, you want the comfort, you want the perceived interior quality, you want a good, a good range, you want a car that you open your door in the morning and you look at it and you go, yeah, that'll be all right. I don't mind spending the day in this. You could do much, much worse than this latest Golf GTI Club Sport. <laughs>